We are right in the middle of the tax-free holiday, so I know this is a big weekend for those of you who love to shop. More than one in 10 Americans consider themselves to be shopaholics. A new survey from couponcabin.com shows spending habits are landing many people in debt, often racking up between $1,000 and $5,000 in charges. Joining me this morning is Jean Andera with thesmartmoneygal.com. And we joke around all the time about shopping till we drop, but we know it's a real problem for a lot of people, right? Yes, it can not only put you in debt, it can take an emotional toll. I agree. There's actually organizations to help shopaholics. Debtors Anonymous is one of them because many shopaholics hide their purchases or have negative relationships with loved ones because of the problem. I've heard girlfriends say that. Keep that in the trunk because I can't take it in the house. <laughs> uh oh, That's not a good idea. No. So what tips can you offer us for overspending? We don't want to do that. Well, you want to set a spending limit. The dreaded B word. Make a budget. Right. You know, stick to it. And and definitely implement a waiting period or a cooling off period. If you're going to buy something large, make yourself wait 48 hours just to see if you just wanted it or you really need it. Impulse buys. Yeah, you do not want to do that, right? Not good. Okay. And then removing your credit card numbers from your accounts online? Yes, because it's so easy to have that now. We have apps and it's so easy to shop. If you take those off, it won't be as easy and it'll give you time to think about if you really need it. That's absolutely true. And then you say go green. Yes, cash is king. That's so true. if you leave your credit cards at home and just take what you're going to spend in your budget when it's gone, you'll stop. Okay. And then prioritize your payments. Yeah. Now, some people would say pay down the highest interest rates. I would say just pay off the smallest balance first so you can cut one up. And that feel can be, accomplished. Yeah, you can have a freeing moment. I agree with you. Another thing, a lot of people charge to get rewards, whether it's like tickets, sky yeah. miles, whatever it is, and then you forget to start paying off that balance. Yeah. That's another thing that gets you in trouble, right? It's really bad. So go to my website at okay. thesmartmoneygal.com. There's a calculator there. Once you see how much the plastic costs, you may not ever use it again. Because you can pay for something that might seem to cost you a hundred bucks, but with interest rates, you might pay 300 bucks for yes. that item. Yes, it's awful. Okay. Don't Jeannie, do it. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you.